What's up everyone, Nick here from TV Box Stop with a video tutorial on how to set up the best alternative navigation bar for TV boxes. And due to the many requests, I decided to do this video because it solves the issue of when you have a TV box that does not have a stock navigation bar and you're trying to navigate the launcher with an air mouse. As a regular user of air mouse myself, I totally understand the frustration this causes as I always need to navigate quickly between various apps and multitask when there's the need to exit to the home screen quickly and return to the app when I need to. So in this video, I'll show you how to install it and how to configure its settings. So stay tuned, you have that right after this. Welcome back. So this is the launcher of the TV box called the HK1 box that's been receiving the most comments about how to install the alternative navigation bar as it's one of the boxes that doesn't have its own stock navigation bar or status bar. So the alternative navigation bar in question is an app called Menu Button and it's the only app on the Google Play Store that's designed specifically to work with TV boxes. There are other apps that provide similar features of course, but they don't integrate into the launcher and provide system control as this app does. So installing the app is very simple. Simply search for menu button on the Google Play Store and you'll see this icon. Click on it and hit install. And that's it for the installation process. So the first step in configuring the app is approving all the permissions required for the app to work. The app does not require your box to be rooted, so it will work on any box, including boxes running Android TV OS. The next step is setting its orientation, its length, and its position. To adjust its orientation, click the rotation button here to switch between vertical mode and horizontal mode. To allow the bar to occupy the entire width of the screen, check this box. And you would want to check this box to make the bar automatically move to the closest edge of the screen as you drag it. The next step is adjusting the height of the bar so that it fits neatly at the bottom of the screen without getting in the way of other buttons. And to do this, simply scroll down a little and here you have a size adjustment slider that you slide left to right to achieve your desired height. The next step is adding the required buttons to make the bar compatible with the functions of the launcher. To do this, click the button tab to the top here and you will be presented with a list of available buttons that you can enable. You don't have to check all of them, only those that you will usually find on a regular TV box navigation bar. So I will check the hide button, I will check the multitasking button, I will uncheck the menu button, I will check the screenshot button, I will check the power button and I will check these volume buttons. Like I said, there are lots of buttons you can add to the bar, but only select those that are relevant. To rearrange the buttons to your preferred order, simply click these arrows and drag the buttons to your preferred position. The final step is setting the duration of the bar before it hides and setting the action that unhides the bar. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will find this section with a switch that gives you access to these settings. However, this section can only be activated if you pay for the full version of the app. It's a small fee to pay, I believe it's between $3 to $5, but it's worth it because you don't need the bar to be constantly on the screen while watching a movie or playing a game. So I've already paid for this app 
and you only have to pay for it once and you can use the app on any amount of boxes you want after that once you use the same Google account you paid with on each box. So once you enable this section, you check this box to allow the bar to appear. Once you click the OK button with an air mouse or any click of a mouse pointer. And you want to uncheck this box that says hide when button is pressed or else you will have a bit of confusion taking place with the bar. Next, you will want to click on this option that brings up a lever to adjust the length of time the bar stays on the screen before it automatically disappears. After testing this, I found that around 2000 milliseconds is just about the right length of time the bar should remain on the screen after you click with the pointer. Once this is done, that's all the settings you need and you can exit the app and not worry about it because it will start automatically each time you start the box. And let's do a quick demonstration. So viewers, there you have it. This was a tutorial on how to install and configure the best alternative navigation bar for TV boxes, the menu button app. If this video was just what you needed, give it a thumbs up. And if you are first time to my channel, click the subscribe button and the notifications bell to be notified when I release future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.